So in case you weren't able to tune into the virtual Friday Night Flies last night uh, that we put on through Northwest Fly Fishing Outfitters, the shop I work for here in Oregon, um, every Saturday I'll be tying the same fly, cutting up the video, and putting it on our <clears throat> shop website and my YouTube. So there'll be a, a resource where you can go back and watch the video as many times. Uh, just uh, learn how to tie it. So, yep, tying up John Montana's hybrid carp fly. I'm gonna start off tying our dumbbell eyes in. So, I like small ones, gold, the color preference doesn't matter, but um, it, you don't want super heavy uh, lead eye because you don't want it to make a big splash and you don't want it to sink too quick. So, kind of those small brass eyes work pretty well. Kind of parachuted in there, which is just going around the the base of those lead eyes and kind of pull them tight. I'm using a Vivas gel spun thread. They make a, a 30 now, so it's, it's really tough, really strong, um, but also pretty thin. So yeah, once that guy's in there, we're gonna take our hook and flip it. Ultra chenille and a standard. And you wanna just burn the end just for like a quick second, just to, that's it. Gives it just a little point and I think it helps it from unraveling that over time. And you want to give yourself more off the back end uh, than you think you need to because you can always re-trim and re-burn that end. But if you tie it up too short, it just kind of looks stupid. And cut that guy off. And we're going to just use some Estes uh, crustacean olive I think is this color it's kind of like a, a golden olive I think it looks good with this fly but you can use black or brown or just regular green or olive tie that guy in come back to about right as that hook starts to bend I'm using a, a curved I guess I should say with I'm using an A-Rex uh, <clears throat> FW541 it's a, a curved nymph hook it's barbless they make really good hooks. This one works perfect for this fly. And a size eight, you can tie them in a size 10, you'll probably catch more fish. I just wanted to tie in a little bit bigger size so it shows up on camera. So then you take your Estes, wrap it forward. <clears throat> I still push those fibers back every turn. I just think it looks better. Um, Pretty much all the way to the to the eyes, you can leave just a little bit of space, kind of right there. Just take two rubber legs. These are the Bard Crazy Legs Golden Yellow Pearl Flake by Hairline. Just tie them on the side right there. Flip them to the other side. Bring the thread in front of the dumbbell eyes and just maybe one or two wraps of the Estes right behind the eyes. You can trim them to whatever length you like. I like them kind of short. Then to finish it off, it's going to be this uh, Nature Spirit uh, Strung Ringneck Rump Hackle. Try to find a smaller one if you can. They're, they're kind of a, like of a longer feather, um, but sometimes you can find these shorter ones. You can use other stuff too. You could use, you know, teal flank or mallard probably or something like that. Um, this is just what the kind of original recipe calls this. It's a, this is just a, a lemon yellow color which uh, last night on Friday Night Flies, John Montana was watching along for just a minute and uh, asked him about that hackle specifically, and he's a big believer in it. I was telling him how I tie some of mine with just the rubber legs and leave that out. And he was kind of politely saying, hey, do, do what you want, but I'm a big believer in it. So I would take his word over mine and just tie it in. Then if you've caught too many carp, you can start experimenting with other stuff, but 
Um, there's some key features to every fly, I think, and he is a firm believer in this. So let's back in. Maybe two or three turns up front. There's going to be some post work on this fly after she's whip finished and, and done for. Cut that off. Cut a couple more off. Tie it off. So I, I just cut this whole bottom section flat. So even, even that run pack will you know, just cut it out of there and cut the whole base of that Estes flat. What that helps, uh, what that does, it helps to fly when it sinks, sink kind of straight like that. And then if it gets down to the bottom, it will sit with those dumbbell eyes and that that little tail kind of up. So it almost sits like a, like that on the bottom, just to like a little angle. So everything is kind of up off and this is flat, just something that helps. So that's it right there, basically the hybrid, John Montana carp fly.